what makes a successful manager in a corporate position? Oh boy, that's a great question. Um, Again, no one answer, right? It all depends. I think Mm -hmm. there's a level of trust that is, that is needed. Trust is huge. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Um, I, tr- I trust giving work to people. I trust um, letting people stretch themselves to do things they they may not be comfortable with. Um, that, that is, that is super important. I think uh, again, setting an example behavior is very important. Are you on time for meetings? This is a gr- great example. Mm-hmm. Or are you always late? So if you're always late, does that mean that everybody can be late for all their meetings? Like, right. So right. little examples like that are important. But I, I think the for me, the the biggest challenge, of course, is just knowing your people, understanding them, and really listening to them as we've talked about. We're talking about listening a lot. Uh, listening to who they are. Just what makes them tick, you know, well, not just professional skill wise, but as a person right. and knowing, trying to understand, I'll, again, I'll go back to my, I'll put on my economics hat, right? Um, I don't, this, I, here's, I, this is my economics hat. Here's my economics hat, right? <laughs> Are you going uh, fishing? <laughs> no, it's my, this is my running hat. We haven't talked about running yet. We'll so. get there. We'll get there. Don't worry. But yeah. Uh, you know, understanding people from an economics behavior standpoint, right? Like what are the behaviors that drive people? It's the same thing for a manager. You know, what, what you know, some people want to take on as much work as they can. They want to push themselves. Other people want to be a super, super highly skilled in one thing. Right. And if you're a manager, you're not listening, you're not trusting them. Uh, they don't trust you. You're not giving off the behaviors that you understand that like that can go off the rails really, really quickly. So, uh, you know, would you like, you know, be like, you know, we'll have this job for you to do and you have no skill set and you don't want to do it. And I'm like, you're going to do it. like, it's just, it's just, there's a disconnect, you know, you're right. going to want to leave. I think the what's the, there's always a saying like people don't, people don't leave good jobs. They leave bad managers. Right. That's a great, yeah, that's uh, right. Luckily, so, luckily, I've always had great managers. Like my, in my professional, my professional job, I've been like three for three. Oh, it does it makes, totally. It makes 100%. a big, big difference. Yes. Yeah. So, it's it is a really hard, you know, effort to make. You know, managing people is is difficult. It's just it's not an easy endeavor. I don't find it. Uh, I don't find it easy myself. Doesn't mean I don't enjoy it. I really like working with people. I like understanding people. Um, I like seeing, you know, people excel. Yeah. Um, I like people seeing people really um, excited about what they're doing. That to me as a manager, those are great, great attributes to have. And, um, but, but it's hard. And, you know, to your point, like, you know, managing 30 people makes it difficult. Now I, 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 that goes back to the, like, you know, Anna reported to me and Leanne and then you like, it's still, it still was, even if, I wasn't talking with you specifically about your job. That didn't mean I wasn't having conversations about you and, you know, is oh, I know. Will doing. Me, is he, I'm aware. Is he a good thing? <laughs> they all told you I was asking about you. Sometimes. What's that yeah. guy doing? Who is that guy? Like, so, sometimes they're going to be like, just so you know, this is for Alan. It's like, you know, don't who, screw it up. Who is that guy? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, but but that's also a role of a manager. Like, you know, asking like, how are they managing their people? Oh, are their I'll, people I'll, okay? I'll, I'll never forget this one time. I think we were in studio B and I spelled your name wrong. On a I lower, remember that. On a lower third. <laughs> and I freaked out, right? So that was a crisis for me, right? And, and to your credit, as a manager, I know we talked about Stern Talks earlier. Yeah, yeah, you, yeah. You kind of gave me one, a little, not a little bit. It was in your own stoic way because I was just like, Le- Leanne kind of gave me the rundown. And yeah. I was just like, you know, I sent you an email. It's like, you know, I'm sorry. It won't happen again. Like my, fo- I, I took responsibility for it. And you just, you just went, no problem. It happens. Won't happen again. I got it. And that was it. Buried. Done. That's a sign of a good manager. Done. Didn't happen again. Did it, it? Didn't, it didn't happen again. I no. triple checked. <laughs> I made sure. Yeah, so now, great point. Like, what would I have gained from yelling at you or having my head pop off? Or like, it, just, there, it happens, you know. Yeah. And I also, have, I also realize I have a name that gets misspelled all the time. Yeah, me too. Tara Shuck. Yeah, it's awful. 